Hey, and welcome back to Zone Zoomer. Last episode, we unlocked the Lumberage Chunk, which also unlocked a new skill, Ranged. Got to level 49 magic to be able to enchant ruby rings and finally completed my first ever clue, which was an easy clue. And the loot was a great upgrade too. Today, we will be trying to finish up with the Lumberage Chunk. Pickpocket a man or woman in Lumbridge. Completed. Most of these tasks in this chunk are actually pretty simple. Um, apart from the 30 range, but I mean, that one is simple too. I just need to arrange and train a little bit. I'm 20 already. Getting 30 is not a big deal. And I also like the fact that I don't always have to walk to this chunk. You know, I can just use the home teleport. I've just been mining basically the past three hours. Now I have a total of four, almost 4.5k iron ore. I'm thinking of maybe smelting and smithing a little bit and trying to get 50 because uh, at 50, oh, okay, 51, I could make a mithril axe. So that would be an upgrade and I could already do that right now and the uh, mithril would be really good. And I already got uh, mithril ores. I think I got them from a maze random event. So that would be really cool. And uh, there is a future fletching grind I could possibly have. So it would be always nice to have a much better axe. Okay, tired of mining. I want to go uh, kill something, train my range. So I've equipped myself. Uh, how do you like this? Uh, is this a uh, very 2006, 2007 PKer for you? The magic, the wizard hat with the range fit. Amazing. I had to... I don't have any legs and I mean, it's uh, no bad attack bonus. So I may as well wear it for defense. Not sure what to kill. Uh, I, I'm thinking of killing a little bit of maybe the wizards because they have magic is a bit uh, weaker to range. Then I'm also considering maybe killing ham guards. I still need coal for the mithril idea that I had. And uh, just a change of pace, you know, instead of pickpocketing, I could do some killing. It will be a, a bit more interesting. Maybe I'll go kill hobgoblins, but I think I have better success with hobgoblins. Um, they're kind of higher level. Uh, when I use melee. So I'm gonna do range on like lower things, goblins and, and ham members, ham guards and uh, wizards for now, I think. Well, just looked at the drop table of ham guards and they actually also drop uh, seeds. Not very commonly though, but it is an option. So uh, I think that's a bit better than the, than the wizards because the wizards really only drop a few runes. Uh, not very useful, but maybe good for range training. Finishing up a maze. I really hope I get a bunch of coal if you can even get that or like runes Or mithril ore. Oh my god <laughs> I have never seen this in my whole life You're joking Like you're actually joking This is the worst This is the worst this is the worst! We just hit level 800 total. Wasn't it like... I feel like it was the previous episode where... Uh, or maybe the, the episode before where I hit 700? Was it 700 or 750? I don't know. 800 total. That fast. That fast. Oh my god. Thirty range. We have achieved thirty range. We can now wield maple bows. That is one of our tasks to wield a maple short bow. I'm glad I'm finished with this requirement. Did something else uh, apart from mining. Got really bored of that. Uh, only got three pieces of coal here. Uh, I managed to kill ninety-two ham guards. Not too bad. Took this hour, uh, and now I think I'm gonna go back to mining, most likely, or maybe I'll do some smithing. 47 smithing. Obtain a maple short bow. Completed. Not equipping this bow until the next task, I assume. Uh, because there's a task to wield it, so we're not uh, wasting our three hours yet. But so far, I've been just smelting some iron. It's a bit more AFK. More AFK than mining, and I have to do some other work, so <laughs> I'm enjoying my time here. 
uh, being slow at smelting. And later I will also do the long journey once again to the Draenor sewers to try and get level 50 smithings. Or 51, 51. That looks nice. I have exactly 3,000 iron ores uh, left in my bank for now. I'm at the Faldor Furnace ready to do the task of equipping a maple shortbow. And boom, let's just get it over with. Look at that. Lovely. The maple shortbow really is the the nicest bow before uh, a magic shortbow. I just wanted to collapse one of these categories. 30 range, wield the maple shortbow. Now we have no more skill tasks left. We have one business lot, four little quest things, and two diary tasks. Still a lot of time, of playtime. It, it just means a lot. And I mean a lot of mining. The worst inventory of iron bars that I've ever had. Nine. 49 smithing. Um, nothing important, uh, but we've gone from 46 to 49 just by smelting uh, iron bars. I've smelted over 1900 bars. I'm not sure how many ores I started with. I feel like I had four and a half thousand, so I probably will get another like 250, should be, from these iron ores. But yeah, and then I have to use them. But I don't want to use them in, in this chunk because that will make me go all the way to the Draenor sewers. I have a better idea for the future, um, but I'll tell you that later. So I'm kind of bored and tired of uh, doing all this mining and smithing. I mean, I don't have a lot of ores left, but uh, I'm thinking of going to kill hobgoblins again. Uh, we'll first run by the farm, plant some tomato seeds, and try to get more cosmic runes. Uh, if in the future I want to uh, use them for the rings of forging, I need cosmic runes. I think I only have like four or, or three. Remember how I uh, tipped you about being able to note produce at the two leprechauns? Well, this leprechaun hates cabbages because of this uh, cabbage field. So don't even try to do that. Just just drop them or, or eat them. Don't give him any more cabbages. He hates those. 33 prayer. No new unlocks though. But prayer levels do not come very often. Since uh, I've only been burying uh, small bones. Ever. My inventory is full and I am en route to Lumbridge because I have a beginner clue uh, and the step is to talk to Hans. Look at my inventory, look at all these herbs. 60 nature runes, that's, that's really good, that is really good. So let me just check. Talk to Hans, I hope we don't complete the Lumbridge easy task. No, okay we have a new clue step. And it's the Alcred Skirt Shop. It's always like this. It's always like this. We have finished an easy clue and not a beginner clue. Very, very sad. How excited are we? We're off to go do another task. Uh, pickpocketed some guards for some GP and we will close off another category that is best in slot tasks. We'll go and purchase an adamant arrow from Brian's archery store, but you know, since we're going through the mine, I may as well mine some iron. Oh, and it's pretty cool. The um, There was an update, I think, this week that uh, now your dropped clue scrolls will last an hour on the ground. Pretty amazing, really amazing. Really would like to go to the ham hideout and get a lot of new uh, easy clues. Uh, Cause I spent like 40 minutes trying to do that one easy clue that time. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you, Millennia. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Um, but yeah, it would have been really uh, in handy. Uh, would have really come in handy when I spent like 40 minutes trying to do that one easy clue. And this clue scroll is from last night. I logged out and then I logged in just now, not long after. And uh, it is still on the ground here, so... I am living proof that uh, if you, if you uh, drop your clue scrolls and then log out for the night and uh, or whatever time to get back in, it's still there, it's still there, so no need to worry. Only one inventory slot left and we have to buy an adamant arrow. It's done, oh my god, seven seconds left, uh, that was a bit close because I just uh, was yapping here, yapping away, yapping away. But we have done it, we have uh, purchased an adamant arrow. And the task was to obtain an adamant arrow. Best in slot tasks finished. Now we only have quest tasks and diary tasks. All very simple. No requirements needed. Quiz master reward. What's it gonna be? 
Okay, thanks. Sixty four mining. Oh, look, I unlocked a new junk type. Got a maze, really want to know what I'm gonna get. So, uh, what are we gonna get? Please, no triple feathers. Please, no triple feathers. <gasps> oh, mithril or nice. Ooh, steel arrows, also good for uh, for the um, range training. Death runes, always good. Wish it was cold. I don't even know if you can get cold, probably. Wish it was cold, but mithril or not bad, not bad. Task time, we're off to talk to Duke to start the rune mysteries quest. And the quest has begun. We received the air talisman and the task is complete. Rune Mysteries 1, talk to Duke Horatio. Rune Mysteries up to step 1, completed. These three hours were so, so long because I did a lot of mining and that was really boring. So I'm, I'm thinking of taking a break from mining and I'm thinking of uh, possibly doing another easy clue. So maybe we can get something even, uh, even uh, something cool. I know one of the cool items that I would like to get from an easy clue is the golden apron. Because apparently it counts as a brown apron and we could literally enter the crafting guild. Uh, I don't know what I would use here. I, would pro I, could probably, I could probably train crafting by tanning cow hides here at the tanner. But there's also a mining site. It doesn't however have coal or iron, which is kind of useful. But it has silver and it has more gold rocks. So And a bank deposit box really, really close. And of course, thieving allows me to possibly get more coal. So uh, coal is always a necessary resource. It feels like a very valuable one right now uh, in my account's life that I'm preparing for like possible 70 smithing. Coal would be amazing, but we don't really have any access to coal apart from thieving it. Would love to unlock a rock. Going back to the bank because I forgot to bring the easy clue that we're gonna have to juggle. Look at this trash pile. This is the discard. <laughs> A square where I discard the steps that I can't do and this is the one the still the one that I already had not lucky at all been thieving for like what is this like 30 40 minutes yeah not lucky with uh, with thieving either I'm getting thrown on all the time even if I'm wearing the full outfit and swapping between the members doesn't always work either it's just oh I'm so unlucky this time at my thieving level, I'm pretty sure the success chance for hand members is like above 70%, but I feel like it's below 30. Ugh, just when I was about to give up with a pile, discard pile like that, and there's also a few or one in that little jail cell and also like two laying around just the lumbridge where I got thrown out. Uh, but yeah, I just got another uh, clue step that I can do in Remington Mine, so I don't know. I've spent an hour already on this. I feel like I should go and uh, do some mining, you know, do something that actually progresses my account. At least I'm getting something here, which is the coal. Always good. And some crafting XP. But really, I'm not getting a lot of good stuff here. And honestly, not even great thieving XP. I think doing guards would have been better and also better money. And I was about to stop. Um, uh, when the timer hit two hours and go to mining, but now that I have two steps, uh, I don't know. I feel like I should get a third one and just try to YOLO it with three. Uh, if I don't get a three-stepper, then that's going to be a complete waste of time because I will have done this for so long. And if I if I can't do, if it's not a three-stepper or it doesn't give me a fourth clue uh, step that I can do, then this is just all for nothing. Okay, well, my inventory is basically full and I have almost no HP and no food. I think I'm just going to abandon this. This uh, clue scroll haul was very unsuccessful. I'm just going to pick up this one that I already had, which is to talk to the Duke. The other one is Remington Mine. I feel like the Duke is a bit easier to do. And uh, yeah, I'll just go back to mining. That's sad. I mean, I got plenty of coal. Like 11 pieces plus uh, two previously. So 13 pieces of coal, not so bad. And I am up to almost 2.5k iron ores, almost 2k iron bars, but I'll just keep going. I am also one hour and 30 minutes late for a random event. So actually it's been two and a half hours like of playtime since the previous random event. And I'm really upset. My latest ones have been really shitty. Rick, count check, I don't have a Jagex account. 
Mysterious old man. Oh, that was the maze. Never mind. That was okay. Dr. Jekyll. I've been having that very often lately. And then I had a genie last. Got a little bit bored and decided to buy a full inventory of Uncut Sapphires. I was hopping worlds and uh, yeah, they're only 25 GP each. And honestly, I'm making money back uh, with cutting them either if I sell them just directly to the gem shop or I make them into jewelry with gold bars. I still have some gold bars. I still have some gold ore. I can always mine more. So it's actually a good money making method. Um, just and, and crafting XP, very cheap actually. And now I'm thinking of going to Hobgoblins again. I'm just wanting to do something else than mining and smithing all the time. I possibly also may need uh, farming still. So I'm kind of out of potato seeds. I'm very low on every other seed. So I'm gonna go back to Hobgoblins and stock up. Also get more law runes. Nature runes always come, uh, they can always come in handy. Cosmic runes for enchanting and just some combat XP, I guess. Maybe a beginner clue that we can do. Ugh, what did I just tell you about Dr. Jekyll? This is what I'm getting. Almost two hours late, and that's what I got. It's task time once again, heading to Lumbridge right now after my Hobgoblin Hall. And the task that we will be doing is to start the Restless Ghost. We only need to do step number one, which is to talk and basically start the quest. I'm looking for a quest. Of course I am. Start the Restless Ghost, yes. And we have begun the quest. We have completed the task. The Restless Ghost up to step one, done. Four more tasks, 12 more hours of gameplay in this chunk. More mining, more hobgoblin slaughtering, more smelting, more grinding. Yeah, no. I think I'm actually gonna go back to Hobgoblins since I'm already geared and I, I didn't get that many seeds. And I honestly prefer mining when I can do it in tandem with farming so I can like mine and then have a tiny little break of going to the farm and planting my stuff and then going back to mining. So uh, this is not, this is just not enough seeds for now. My past four random events have been Dr. Jekyll, Genie, Dr. Jekyll and Genie. So uh, it is time to get six agility. Look at that. Supposedly our run energy restoration rate should have, should have gone up now because we are in the next bracket. I hope it is actually noticeable or something. Fifty smithing. We can now smell mithril ore and eight hundred and twenty-five total level. Wow! I was saying that I would like to get to fifty-one to be able to smith the mithril axe, but actually I remembered that in the bar right here you can buy a uh, dwarven stout and it boosts your smithing level by one. So actually I don't need to get fifty-one. Uh, I will still most likely get it eventually, very soon anyway, before I decide to smith that mithril axe. But if I want to smith it like earlier, I can just uh, buy that dwarven stout and boost. So nice. To do another task and we will be uh, doing the task of completing step three for X marks the spot quest. Begin the quest. And let's get to digging. I will sell this steel longsword I got from Hobgoblins because uh, it appears I have more time than I thought I would. And the first spot we have to dig at is right here. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm sorry, if you don't like Quest Helper, I'm sorry, it just automatically opens. So I kind of don't want to just, you know, <laughs> disable it. Uh, it makes it faster for me. Is that outside? That is outside. And I think uh, this is it. I think this is it actually. Oh no, it actually isn't. There is another spot. Oh, I thought I couldn't uh, dig there. I know you have to dig inside this pen, but I didn't think we had, uh, we could access this one. Okay, well, let's head there. Um, what is going on here? <laughs> um, what is going on here? <laughs> Two spots to dig at. I think this is the quest one. I don't know what that is for. Um, okay, that was just messed up. And I guess that's it. That's our uh, task done because the last dig is in the pen. We cannot access it, unfortunately. The task was to dig at the third clue spot. It was the third clue spot and we are done with this task so far. Three more tasks, nine more hours. We are done very soon. I always want to do something else before jumping straight back into mining and smithing. 
So this time I'm choosing to kill some hobgoblins again. 50 attack and also 60 combat. I can now continue training strength. So good. And here's also another prayer level. 34, we can now pray the brain. Crazy, in just three levels, we will literally be able to use protect from magic. Time for a quick poll. And we're done. It is unfortunately time to head back to the mines. You're joking. Come on, they're level one. Let's just check my random event log. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I've finished everything. <gasps> okay. Uh, I could actually get flax, hopefully, from beekeeper event. I could also get a lamp, an XP lamp, but uh, wow, I didn't know this. I think, I'm not sure, do you get these uh, sit up and push up and star jump emotes from the sergeant event? Or I think you maybe got them from a quest. So everything, every outfit event should give me an XP lamp now, and the beekeeper could possibly give me flax as well. All right, we are here one minute before the timer ends. We will do the task of checking uh, our age at Hans. Um, learn your age from Hans and Lumbridge. Right, I forgot I was free to play. Um, just gonna go get some membership and try to do this task again. All right, I'm back here and I'm just waiting for Hans to get to me. So we should, yes, okay. I am a member and we finish the task. It is task number five. Learn your age from Hans and Lumbridge, done. Two more tasks left, technically six more hours of gameplay. Oh, wow. My first is Pori Seed. <laughs> I thought I already had one. Maybe from a, from a bird's nest and it didn't count. That's cool. Just got a line from the Freaky Forester. I'm thinking of using it instead of Agility. Now, Hunter, I kind of want to slowly start training Hunter because Implings are really, really, really good. It will take a long time, but um, for now, I'll just pause my Agility. Three painful hours of mining later. Three minutes left, I am pickpocketing a woman for some coins. I will go and purchase uh, some pots of flour just to have them. And my last task, I want it to be my last, will be to bake some bread in Lumbridge. So I'm just getting some coins while I'm here to be able to buy the few pots of flour. And I'm here to start the recipe for disaster, the cook's assistant part or cook's part. And that is our task. Our task will be to begin. Start the quest. Perfect. All right, we're done. That text took longer than I thought it would. I was uh, kind of afraid that we will run out of time, but we finished this task. Here we can check. I spoke to the cook in Lumbridge and the task is recipe for disaster. Another cook's quest up to step one. Talk to the cook. Done. One more, one more task. Three more hours. I really don't want to do it, but I probably will. Thank you. I am sorry it may upset someone. It uh, hopefully it doesn't upset me later. I hope it doesn't bite me in the bum later. But I am off to do the last task at two hours left. This is because I just, I can't. I have to put this video out and it's just taking too long. Life happened, vacation happened, and I just have to do this. Take one for the team, you know, otherwise I, ca I can't, uh, I feel bad for not putting a video out for this long. Um, so we will do the last task. The last task is to make some bread on the Lumbridge kitchen range. Make bread dough and cook it. And we've done the task. I feel terrible. I feel so bad for having two hours left because now we have to reset the timer. So essentially we're losing two hours of work, but, um, I don't know. I just feel like this for now is the right thing to do. I really want to put this video out and I don't want you guys to be angry or disappointed and almost forgot to record this, but here's the chunk map and here is our finished task. 12 out of 12 tasks done. Here we are at the end of chunk 11, Lumbridge. This is how our stats are looking like. Uh, got a few mining levels, got a few smithing levels, 30 range and some other cool stats, but this is how we are looking like 831 total. And now it is time to pick another chunk, a very tough decision.
The timer being three hours really makes chunks with over 10 tasks last forever. I'm very excited but also nervous to pick the next chunk since this one was rolled. We'll probably have to spend some time deciding which one would be best. If you are enjoying this series, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!